Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Uluwa Bukola and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the easiest oil-based vanilla cake. If you've not subscribed to the channel, please kindly do like, comment and don't forget to share. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you the amazing vanilla cake. So in goes the margarine, then the sugar and the oil. So guys, you're going to be using a combination of oil, margarine, and sugar for this recipe. For those who will always ask, if I don't have a mixer, can I make this? Yes, absolutely. All you just need to do is you bring your arms to work and you exercise your arms, guys. So you can always use a wooden ladle. You can use that to make this recipe if you don't have a, mix, a stand mixer. And you can also use your hand mixer. You can use a wooden ladle, what we call turning stick in Nigeria. Anything works. But what you want to do is that you want to get it to this consistency. You want it to increase in volume. You want it to be this creamy and you want it to be pale. This is what you must achieve before you go on to the next step. So the next step is get your upper post flour, add your baking soda, add the baking powder and corn starch so we are adding corn starch to your all-purpose flour because we want to make this flour as light as possible and achieve cake flour consistency so the ends why there is corn flour in this or what you call corn starch so you whisk that together to combine all the dry ingredients together now in the mixer you begin to add your eggs so i decided to just crack all my eggs together in a bowl and add it into the mixer gradually and if you notice i just had to speed that up a little bit in speed but my mixer is not this fast i only edited the video to make it look fast my mixer is not this fast because you don't want to break the egg and the facts and the fat combination so that is what it looks like that is the margarine combination and the egg so alternate the flour mixture and the full cream milk in three parts of the flour mixture and two parts of the full cream milk. i forgot i didn't have my uh, vanilla flavor before i started adding my flour so as well i'm adding that now so i don't forget so i'm adding the vanilla right now and um so I'm now i'm going to be adding the flour mixture into the mixer alternating with the with buttermilk for this recipe we're using buttermilk so what why i'm doing that is because we are trying to deflate the gluten in the flour we don't want the gluten in the flour to activate while mixing and please when you begin to add the flour to it ensure you are mixing on low speed again i only fast forwarded the video my mixer was not going at that speed so now i've already pre-greased my baking pan I pre-greased my baking pan, you know, coated it with flour because I'm not using baking paper in this and I'm adding my butter in, I'm pouring my butter, sorry, into the baking pan. I'm going to be baking this for one hour, for one hour at 350. So one thing again, I always like to emphasize on is level your cake in the pan. The leveling of your cake starts in the pan. Yeah, yeah, we have it. The cake is out of the oven. I baked this completely. Like when I mean completely, I did that on purpose because I don't know when the person is going to consume it. And one thing I noticed about cakes is that most don't consume their, their cakes on time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Bye-bye.